Hey there and welcome to the daily Manchester United news show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Manchester United handed a huge injury boost as Mason Mount returns to training. Manchester United have been handed a major injury boost with Mason Mount returning to training as confirmed by ManUnited.com. The big money summer acquisition has been out since late November with a calf problem he picked up against Luton Town. He completed light individual training at Carrington on Wednesday and will continue his rehabilitation with the medical staff. Mount moved to Man United from Chelsea last summer but has failed to hit the ground running. It has been a slow start for the England international to his life at Old Trafford. In 12 appearances for the Red Devils, he has yet to score a goal and has provided a solitary assist. Gareth Southgate has dropped him from recent England national squads. Eric Ten Hag has also utilized Mount from the bench lately. He has not started a league match since early October. Christian Eriksen's return helped Man United get more control in the midfield in their recent 3-2 comeback win over Aston Villa. Scott McTominay was previously given multiple opportunities from the start in the absence of Eriksen and Mount, but his presence disrupted the balance of the midfield. Mount is more dynamic than Eriksen, but needs to enhance his creative instincts. Man United's number 8 spot is still a up for grabs. The 24-year-old could be the perfect player for that role, however, he needs to be more consistent with his performances and must stay fit for a longer duration. He has a perfect mentor in Bruno Fernandes in the team. Mount must learn the art of playing through balls from the Portuguese international. The start of 2024 could be a pivotal moment for the former Chelsea man to prove his worth. He must quickly rediscover his old self when he is fully fit and back in the squad. Bennett Jacobs claims that a host of clubs want to whisk away Anthony Martial in January. Bennett Jacobs has provided a significant update on the future of under-fire Man United striker Anthony Martial. Speaking to Give Me Sport, the journalist has suggested that the player could finally call it quits on his United career that started back in September 2015. Jacobs said, Although I don't expect Manchester United to be overly busy in January, it wouldn't surprise me if one or two players come in, especially if outgoings can be facilitated. Anthony Martial could be sold with it now clear that the other option is his contract will run down and he will leave for free. The Saudi interest is a genuine. However, it's unknown whether or not the 28-year-old would have any interest in relocating to the Middle East. The reporter went on to claim that interest in Martial extends beyond that of the Gulf. He said, there are also a few Turkish clubs considering making an approach. Lyon would love Martial back and have tried before, but it's near impossible, especially with his wages and the French club fighting relegation. The French international has played 19 times this season, but he has only found the back of the net twice. To be fair, that is the same as Marcus Rashford and two more than Anthony. The people's person has relied information to support Jacob's theory that United are finally willing to let the player go in spite of a lack of striking options to back up young Grasmus Hoyland, who recently broke his Premier League duck in a pulsating victory over Aston Villa. It has been relied here that Inter Milan and Wiener Bashi both see the French forward as a realistic target in the January window to provide depth to their attacking departments. It remains to be seen what will happen with Martial. Benfica want to sign Man United defender Alvaro Fernandez in January. Portuguese giants Benfica are interested in signing Manchester United defender Alvaro Fernandez on a permanent basis during the January transfer window, according to Ojogo. Fernandez was involved for the Red Devils during the preseason, but he was loaned out to Granada after the club secured a temporary deal for Sergio Regulon from Tottenham Hotspur. 
The 20-year-old has since played less than 500 minutes for the struggling La Liga outfit and it's now reported that Benfica are exploring a winter deal for the talented left-back. Ojogo claimed that Fernandes is currently valued at around 7 million euros. Benfica plan to hold talks with United to assess whether they can secure his signature at the start of 2024. Manager Roger Schmidt is unhappy with his current left-back duo of David Khurasik and Juan Bernat. Benfica are known for turning emerging players into potential world beaters over the past year. The likes of Enzo Fernandez and Gonzalo Ramos have secured big money moves elsewhere. They have a good eye for promising talent and their hierarchy seem to be interested in pricing away Fernandez. The club could guarantee the youngster with a consistent starting role. The former Real Madrid graduate has been a regular of the bench at Granada, but he has still won an impressive 61% of his duels with more than two ball recoveries per game. He definitely has the potential to become a leading left back in the future. His current contract expires in June 2024, but United have the option of extending his stay for another 12 months. The club should delay the decision over his future until the summer. The best choice would be to recall him from his Granada loan stunt and send him on a temporary deal elsewhere for the rest of the season. Man United a step forward in race to sign Sir Hogwirasi in January. Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur are among favourites to sign Stuttgart striker Serhu Gburassi during the winter transfer window, according to Gazzetta dello Sport. The Guinea international has been in the form of his life this season. He has registered 19 goals and to assist in the space of only 17 appearances across all competitions. His goal contributions have caught the eye of several European clubs, including AC Milan, but Gazzetta dello Sport claim that the Premier League clubs are a step forward. United and the Spurs are mentioned as the leading candidates to sign the 27-year-old who has a release clause of just 17 million euros, which will be active next month. With Guerra due to represent Guinea at the African Cup of Nations from mid-January, it's reported that a transfer could be completed in the early days of the transfer window. The former Rennes man has been brilliant for Stuttgart this season and he is a prime reason why the club are placed third in the Bundesliga with 34 points from 16 games. Stuttgart have tried to persuade to sign a new contract to buy his clothes, but the striker has reportedly made the decision to move on when the transfer window reopens. United currently have Rasmus Hoyland and Anthony Martial as the center forward options. The former finally scored his maiden Premier League goal with a late winner against Aston Villa this week. Hoyland will be aiming to find the back of the net regularly going forward, but United could still invest on Aguirassi considering his blistering form and low release clause. Compared to their big money signings over the years, the Guinean would represent a shrewd acquisition and could boost their chances of finishing in the top four this term. It's most likely that Martial will be sold if Iguirassi makes the switch. United could recoup most of the funds spent on Iguirassi with the Frenchman's departure this winter. Man United want to sign Victor Gyogeres, fancy to trigger release clause. Manchester United are one of the clubs interested in signing Sporting Lisbon striker Victor Gyogeres during the January transfer window, according to Correo de Mania. The 25-year-old had a fantastic season with Conventory City in the championship last term. He netted 22 goals and provided 12 assists from 50 appearances across all competitions. Despite this, no elite Premier League sides were keen on signing him. He made the move to Sporting for 20 million euros and has been a revelation for them over the past four months. 
Yogarish has registered 17 goals and 8 assists from just 20 games and Correa de Mania claims that Arsenal and United are among clubs interested in recruiting him this winter. The Portuguese publication emphasized that the Premier League giants can trigger his 100 million euros release clause but Sporting aim to convince the striker to stay to sustain their title bid. The Swedi was one of the best players in the championship last season and he has carried over the form to the Portuguese top flight where he has been the standout performer. Yogeresh has been brilliant with 25 goal contributions but he has also impressed with other attributes. He likes to high press opposition defenders and has won a stunning 7.8 duels per game. Meanwhile, the striker has also completed 2.5 take ons per appearance. His shot conversion rate of 26% is one of the best in Europe's top 7 leagues this term. Hence, there could be genuine interest from United in signing him, but we don't see a deal happening with the Red Devils close to breaching financial fair play limits. Yogeresh is also very happy with the current proceedings at Sporting and he recently insisted in a local interview that he wants to stay at the club for the whole season. So a deal in the winter is not gonna happen, maybe in the summer. Man United target Joao Neves in line for a new contract with 150 million euros release clause. Manchester United target Joao Neves is close to signing an improved contract at Benfica with an increased release clause, according to Ojogo. The 19-year-old is one of the best emerging midfielders in European football and he has already established himself as a regular starter in the number 6 role. He currently has a release clause worth 120 million euros in his deal and Ojogo claimed that Benfica have recently opened discussions over a new long-term contract. As part of the deal, Neves would be in line for a salary increase, while Benfica also plan to raise his buyout clause by another 30 million euros. It could be announced by early January. Manchester United are reportedly at the top of the starting grid to sign him. But Benfica want to keep him until the summer at least. Neves has a similar transfer stance. The Red Devils recently confirmed the minority investment from Sir Jim Ratcliffe, but the deal won't be ratified by the Premier League for the next four to six weeks. At the earliest, Enoyes and Ratcliffe could take over the footballing operations from January 20 onwards, but it's unlikely they will break the bank for Neves' signature. Even if there is outside investment, the financial fair play situation may not allow United to splash the cash on Neves. They are likely to wait until the end of the season. Benfica sold Gonzalo Ramos to Paris Saint-Germain on an initial loan deal with an obligation to buy for 80 million euros. They agreed a fee much less than his 120 million euros release clause. In our view, a package of around 100 million euros could be sufficient to sign Neves in the summer. Neves would be a quality acquisition for the Red Devils. He has a passing accuracy of 90% this term with 2.1 tackles and 6.9 duels won per league appearance. He has also won 72% of his dribbles with nearly 6 ball recoveries per outing. The fans will be hoping that the club can persuade him to join next summer. United have a good working relationship with super agent Jorge Mendes who represent Navas. This could prove crucial to their prospect of landing the wonder kid. Manchester United willing to spend around 50 million euros for Real Madrid target. Manchester United are looking to bring in defensive reinforcement and they want to sign the Atalanta central defender Giorgio Scalvini. A report from Vigaches claims that Real Madrid are keen on the player as well, but Manchester United are hoping to beat them to his signature. The 20-year-old central defender is highly rated around Europe and he is expected to replace Rafael Varane in the long term. The French international has been linked with the move away from Man United in recent months. Atalanta are reportedly looking for a substantial offer to sell the talented young defender and Manchester United will have to shell out in the region of 50 million euros 
in order to sign him next month. The report states that Manchester United are willing to meet the financial demands to sign the defender and it remains to be seen how the situation unfolds. Real Madrid could use defensive reinforcement as well, especially after the injury blow to David Alaba. The 20-year-old Italian international would be a solid long-term investment for them. Scalvini is a prodigious talent with a big future ahead of him and he would be a key player for Manchester United in the long run if he can adapt to English football. The reported asking the price might seem steep right now but it would look like a bargain if the defender manages to fulfill his potential at Old Trafford. The Red Devils are looking to put together a formidable squad for the future and the 20 year old would be a future investment for them. The opportunity to play in the Premier League will be an attractive proposition for Scalvini as well. Regular football in England could accelerate his development. Manchester United join Premier League rivals in race to sign Bayern Munich midfielder Joshua Kimmich. Manchester United have reportedly joined the race to sign Bayern Munich star Joshua Kimmich. This season, United have struggled in the middle of the park. Eric Ten Hag has been largely unable to find the perfect combination of midfielders to regularly field during the Red Devils' recent 3-2 comeback win against Aston Villa at Old Trafford. Ten Hag started a midfield trio of Kobe Maino, Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes. The three did well as a unit. However, it's clear. United need more and it's no surprise the club is exploring the market for solutions. According to The Sun, the 20-time English champions are looking at a surprise candidate, Kimmich. It's understood that United are keen on adding Kimmich to the ranks in January, but it's unlikely the German international would leave Bayern during the winter transfer window. A more realistic prospect is that Kimmich would leave the Allianz Arena in the summer of 2024. Kemich's contract is set to expire after the end of the current Bundesliga campaign. The Sun adds, United will face a stiff competition to secure his signature. The experienced German international is also admired by Premier League rivals Man City and Liverpool. Alongside Man City, United and Liverpool, La Liga giants Barcelona are also believed to be admirers of the experienced 28-year-old. Kimmich joined Bayern in 2015 and has made 367 appearances for the Bavarian outfit, including 19 games this term. It seems the player is no longer untouchable and there could be an opportunity to secure his services for a cut price fee in a few months as Bayern would not want to lose him for a free. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.